<laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. You know, it's a silly thing that happens when you like when you plug in your microphone for the after, actually. You know, just as usual as ever. I'm absolutely scrambled. But I, I I can't I can't speak it. I can't you guys I gotta I I didn't even play the intro thing. You know the little thing where it goes I, I still had I still had to do that guys. I still gotta do that. I still I hold on, hold on. Well I'll 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 be back in like exactly two minutes and I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit right here behind the screen. You guys know me. I'm not I'm not gonna get up and do anything else. I'm gonna be right here. I Nothing is going to change. Literally nothing is going to change. It's going to be the exact same. I'm going to come back as though, like, none of this happened beforehand. So guys, you got you to play along with me for this, right? And also, if my eyes are acting strange, it's because I have my glasses on. Well, my glasses are on, which makes me look, like, really smug. Like, I'm looking at you like I'm... Like, I, I, I can't talk to you now. I can't talk. I can't talk, guys. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play the introduction. Testing, testing. Is is uh, is this thing on? Is is this microphone right here on? Can you guys hear me? Okay, because I know I'm always, you know, so absolutely on top of actually making sure that my microphone is on and ready and prepared in ways that you know it doesn't stop the stream from like going on because I'll go on tangent after tangent after tangent or anything like that. But yeah, guys, I'm finally back what three four long months i don't ever want to go back just like it was iguana indeed zep iguana indeed iguaya guaudi to ya hiya howdy breakfast indeed breakfast iguana absolutely nothing like that time that we had right there to you to every you know what let me, let me scroll back up let me see i got i got a ton of high outies to give out here noir a high outie to you zep zep Double P. You got that got that airplane in you. A hi howdy to ya. Zep Lander. Good old fashioned, absolutely wonderful food post and chef right here. A hey, hi howdy to you. 
Noir, I know I already gave you a higher howdy, but I keep on um doubling the higher howdies that I'm giving. So, you know what? A double high howdy to you. Um, let's see. Mampus, a high howdy to you. And Fish, a wonderful high howdy to you too. Um, the timer didn't activate, so I guess I'll have to do that myself. But, here you go. Oh my god, a high train? How am I supposed to react to you? I, it's been like. <laughs> It's been so long. It's been months at this point. I thank you so much for the bits, for the subs, for the for. <laughs> you guys are actually trying to kill me right now. How am I supposed to react to all of this at the same time? I have returned, indeed. I, I still have to give you all of the all of the high outies. Hold on, like like uh. Also, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have returned indeed. Oh my god. There we go. Get some good. Oh my god. The BGM is so loud in my ears. But hopefully it's the right volume for you guys too. Thank you for the big baby. Hey there. Hi, how do you do ya? Um. This is this is awkward. You have never heard this voice from me. But. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I've still got to talk with this voice for a whole more three minutes. I well, I mean, I I guess we can work with this. I very very much thank you for that sub. I should expect no less of you. I I guess so. I just I man, I was. I just I was just sitting behind the screen and I was like, you know, I'm coming and I'm going to stream and it's been a long time and I wonder who's going to be here and, you know, I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to give it my all because I've been a little bit quiet these past few months and I just want to come back in guns blazing. I want to be ready. I want to be here for you guys, with you guys, here streaming to you guys. Thank you for the bits, Memphis. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sup with one P, up with two P's, Pig B, Mamp B, Noiri, Noiri, what? No, I, that would be a terrible way to read. Oh my god. <laughs> and the train just keeps on growing. Oh my god. Thank you so, so much, Finley. Now it's sounding like I'm kind of crying at the same time. And I'm not. I'm not crying. I do not cry. There are no tears coming from these eyes of mine because I'm strong. I'm so incredibly strong. You would never believe how strong I am. <laughs> oh gosh. Office pizza party? I mean, we can work that out. We can absolutely do that at some point. I feel like that'd be really cool to do actually. Maybe if I actually plan my birthday out a little. <laughs> Thank you, Jiro. And I saw I, I read it with my eyes, but I have to read it. Re read it. What? Read it with my eyes and my mouth? Question mark. What you had said with your message earlier, because it actually genuinely means a lot. I. I got tons of goops. I got tons of support. I got a Reddit. You, uh, you know what? Yes. Yes, I am a Reddit user. I do use Reddit. You know what? I go on Reddit every day. And you know what? I do the nerdiest thing a guy could possibly do. My one favorite subreddit is the Binding of Isaac subreddit. And I look at that all day. If I'm bored in the middle of the day, I will open up the Binding of Isaac subreddit and I will read through that. <laughs> Wait, why am I clearing my voice in my regular voice? I'm still not done with this yet. No, are you too? Thank you so much. Guys, genuinely, genuinely, thank you so much for absolutely all of the support you've been given. Given? I mean, I mean, I hope I've been giving you guys support, but also... 
thank you guys for the support that you've been showing back slash showing you forward. I, I don't know, it's like a, you know, that mutual then like swap the swap. You can't see what I'm doing with my hands, but like my hands are doing that like back and forth trade thing that you'd probably see like a merchant doing a game or something like that. <clears throat> There we go. Oh my god, let me, let me, let me catch my breath. <laughs> but genuinely, guys, thank you so much for coming by. I have absolutely no plans except for being here and chatting and catching up and doing all that good stuff today. So this screen right here in front of me is where we're going to put literally whatever i was gonna like watch one of my first vods with you guys or something i don't know but that's something we can figure out later you fed me worms you fed me dirt you fed me worms and dirt it's like that one delicious dessert worms and dirt you know it's like oreo crumbles with gummy worms and like pudding in there and that's so good you fed me 10 whole scoops of I was about to say gummy worms. You didn't feed me scoops of gummy worm. Of uh, worms and dirt. But yes, I'm so glad to be back, guys. Hi, howdy once again to the ones that I didn't catch, which I believe were good old Finley, Danya Woy as well, and uh. Let me scroll back up a little bit. Yeah, also, little Pigby. Thank you for your first time chats here. Thank you for uh, stopping by, for coming by and greeting me. The feeling that we know each other from somewhere, but I, I can't exactly figure out where. <laughs> uh, let's see. My OG senpai is back. Ah, thank you so much for introducing me to so many awesome English VTubers, Frank senpai. Absolutely, Jiro. I am so... So glad that I met you. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Sometimes, while I was gone, while I was out, I had my off days, I had my down days, I had my bad poor days. We all have those days, being human and whatnot, right? But, this guy right here, Jiro. You have kept <laughs> the doodle that I made for you on that banner of yours ever since I made it. And that means so incredibly much to me. You guys messaging? You guys pinging me even while I'm like completely gone and, you know, busy and whatnot? You guys just keeping on doing what you're doing. What what is this, what is this hype chest? What do you mean open? Open hype chest. I got some dude on fire? All right, guys, I guess we got this dude on fire. <laughs> I don't know what this guy is, but he's on fire. Oh, wait, that's like the, the hype train emotes. Okay. What? 18 subs? Oh, my God. What about if this... I, I literally just breathed. I I haven't even given you guys anything yet. I gotta, I gotta do something funny or cool. I gotta, like, do a backflip. I, I can't even do a backflip. I gotta do a backflip. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? I can, like... No, I'm not going to eat toothpaste on stream. Uh, what else? I can't open this can of green beans that's been beside me for the past, like, three months. Because I don't have a can opener. Uh... <laughs> What's what? I, I do have legs. Maybe not here right now. Oh my god. I, I, I can't even catch my breath here. <gasps> CRTV head. Hi, howdy. Welcome on in. Thank you for the raid. And of course, I am so super duper glad to see you. How's it going, man? Nyawis, I know that I saw you back there too. I did not get around to giving you your eye out here, but if you are still there and you are still listening in, glad to give it to you too. Welcome on in. Welcome, woodly doodly, welcome on in. Charles, why are you not doing a single thing? Charles, do you need help? Uh, taxes. 
Nope, Charles is just completely out of it today. Let's see if I can get him back up and running. <laughs> and I'm glad to provide you with the voice then. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be talking to you guys. Especially when I spend most of my life in deep and utter brooding silence. Lately I've been playing the uh, Batman series. I got a really nice deal on Fanatical for uh, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and like the one more of the Batman games. And I've been playing it. And in the, like, you know, just in the back of my mind, and also honestly a little bit talking to myself while I play the game. I'm like, you know what, guys, uh, villains, like five goons standing in a circle, you can't fight against me because I'm the Batman. I'm going to use my uh, detective skills to fight you because I'm the Batman. And the Batman is a detective. And I'm going to detect you and like saying random miscellaneous stuff but you know i i got that i got that batman in me so when it comes to coming out here to being able to you know just conversate right <laughs> it feels so good it just it feels right to be back it feels so good to be back it makes you want to have very meaningful grunts for 30 minutes as a dog disapproves what a stream that would be indeed. Or what a time that was too. And yes, there are green... Okay, there's green beans next to me. Can you hear that? Can you... That's me patting the top of the uh, green beans can. Here's the bottom of the green beans can. It sounds the exact same because I realized you kind of like move stuff around with physics. But here's the bottom when I keep it the other way around. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Tomato sauce is up next. It, so it sounds the exact same. I don't even know why I'm doing this. The side of the can. The side of the can. You gotta give it that thwack, that smack, that smack-a-doodle back. You know what I'm saying? We have those cans right beside you. What else are you supposed to do? And I don't have any other cans. I don't own any other cans. <laughs> Frank Real indeed. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for stopping by. Let's see, who have we got here? We got both Azula Blue. A hi, howdy for you. A hi indeed. I am so super duper happy to be back. And why don't I I feel like I said that by instinct now, because that just like rolled off the tongue crazy easy. <laughs> In the hybrid era fan. Hiya, howdy to ya too. Looks like we're going to have problems because Charles is just not doing a single thing for me. Come on, Charles. Why are you doing this to me? Mm. <laughs> Let's see, what happens if I do it manually? Can I do this manually? Charles, why? Hmm. Looks like I got some stuff to rehook around. I mean, I did say that it was my day returning, but not necessarily Charles. Let's see. I'm sure I can get this to work fine. I just gotta make sure they're connected. Come on, buddy. <laughs> you know what? I'm checking. And I'm looking, and it looks like I'm checking. But the more that I check and the more that I look, the more I actually realize exactly what is wrong. Come on. What do you, what do you mean, disconnected? What are you doing? Okay, well, <laughs> that's something to figure out at a different time. For now, I'll just... <clears throat> Give you my best retro voice. Perhaps it's not exactly what you're looking for, but I promise you, with Boom Guy as my witness, I'll be sure to bring back that so retro by the time I'm back again next time. Scammed indeed. 
I've absolutely stolen those 1,000 Frannel Throins. I have no plans on giving them back. <laughs> but yeah, how have you guys been? How's the day treating you? How's the week? How's the months been treating you? Have you guys met any big goals, whether it be streaming goals, uh, if you care to share personal goals, something that's uh, really been on your mind to accomplish that you've gotten done? Is there something that you've gotten good? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I do got that Batman in me. <laughs> I got to see Frank again, so I'm happy, happy. I'm happy, happy to see you too. I'm super duper happy, happy to see you too, Noir. Like super, super duper happy. And I know you've been waiting for this for a long time. I know you've read, you, like literally, you guys have not seen me like breathe for the past few months. I have not given any single sort of breath to anybody. No breath at all. No breath at all. Like I. <gasps> there you go. There, there's one breath right there for everyone. I hope. Actually, no. You guys can smell it. I did eat like that chicken club wrap beforehand, but before that, like. <laughs> yeah, no. It's definitely been a while. Frank Frizen is in the paper. Absolutely. Right here in the paper. Well, I mean, aside from like Discord calls, right? Everybody's got those fellas that they call and they doodle doodle do up. They, I was about to say cock a doodle do, but that would mean like that I good morning to you. And I mean, I guess I did send a few good mornings out there, didn't I? But I did not, you know, stream any good mornings to you. Axel Gore, is that you? And you know what? I did not call you Alex this time. <laughs> Discord isn't real. Discord can't hurt you. Discord in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, how's it going, Cider? Cinder. At least I'm not the person to call you Cinder. <laughs> but no business was happening. And the economy was dry. But it really wasn't dry. Because, I mean, I look around and, like... I think it's like the day I post my return. I just say, tell a friend, right? Referencing Eminem, who I know like no songs of. And literally those two lines just, uh, uh, hi, my name is, uh, uh my name is, uh, ah, <laughs> and whoop, there goes gravity. But yeah. What else? What was I even talking about? What was I going on about? Uh, no. You cannot publicly release 3pm.mp3. <laughs> that right there is a masterpiece meant to stay behind closed doors. That song is absolutely wild. I know, but it's my personal release that I must keep behind closed doors. Behind the closiest of doors. <laughs> For the classiest of reasons. Uh, but yeah. No, I check on like my first day of returning back to Twitter. And I see celebration after celebration. After filled schedule, after filled schedule, after improvement, after improvement, after improvement. And I'm like, man, life goes on and people keep on doing what they're doing. And people keep on going and growing and seeing and learning and knowing. And it's absolutely amazing to see. I'm so not used to <laughs> having myself in view all the time again. Feels strange. 
But yes, I miss you guys too. I, I grow indeed. I enlarge. Oh, it's due time, of course. I don't want to get too crazy with myself. You know, these old frail bones of mine don't hold up for too much longer. Any second now, and I could break down into a pile of dust. <laughs> it's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. I've been having this idea for a long time, since we were just kind of chatting now, since we were just kind of catching up. Where I... Jevon! Hi, howdy to ya! Welcome on in! I missed you too! World's number one whatchamacallit, this is the happy birthday song, isn't it? You know, I realized something. I'm going absolutely insane. Because I did not have any of the BGM on, and it's been playing only for me this entire time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. It's been playing this entire time. I've been live for 27 minutes. <laughs> See, this is not the happy birthday song. I'm not going insane. I'm not going insane. <laughs> and then this is going to get muted because it's playing the happy birthday song of all things. But I don't, I don't care. It's okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay, yeah, it, it, it's definitely happy birthday. There's no way that this would not be happy birthday. Did I learn any life lessons on my journey? Um... Hmm... I mean, I think number one life lesson that you can always learn when you're gone on like a big hiatus or anything is that life goes on and that if you are not ready to, you know, like move with the tide that is completely fine as long as you are, you know, putting in some sort of effort to move to the beat of your own drum you don't have to follow, like, the march of life or anything. I mean, sure, it's going to, like, come and catch up to you at some point, right? But that really shouldn't ever be a problem, as long as you can just keep yourself focused, keep your mind on your goals, and just kind of keep that path of your straight, right? <laughs> it's not my birthday. It's, uh, but it's still playing, and it's still scrambling my head. Happy birthday. To you, yes, chat. Happy birthday, dear you behind the screen. Happy birthday to you. I can't believe you were born. I can't believe you were born. I can't believe you were born. There we go. <laughs> but yeah. You just gotta keep at it. You gotta keep pushing. That's it. That's it, really. I moved a whole refrigerator. I hoisted a television cart onto my back. And I carried it. And I'm like the Hulk. I'm so incredibly strong. <laughs> But yeah, happy, happy early birthday to those of you that are, you know, born. Didn't know Marilyn Monroe was still alive. A absolutely... Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who anybody is. Not like, not like you guys. I know who you guys are, but I mean like celebrity-wise. You could tell me like Ryan Gosling. And like, I know, that's, that's the Deadpool guy. Mio? Hi, howdy, Tian. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. The Frankler has made his return. That's some comeback build of you. Absolutely. You know me and my comebacks. I always come back. 
<laughs> what kind of a phrase is that? I mean, it, it works. But... <laughs> yeah, no. Super duper happy to be back. And I do always come back. I mean, I think... I don't, I don't really go that far anywho, right? But... Yeah, I always try to come back, more sure. A high outie to you. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Just like, uh... A purple I literally am the purple guy. Yeah, I know. I recognize ya. Glad to see ya, Ash. Welcome on in. Everybody's welcome here. This is the place to be on Twitch.tv. <laughs> but yeah, like Ryan Reynolds, I can't put a face to the name. Uh, who else? Uh, I can't even think of celebrity names now that I think about it. What? She did the happy birthday Mr. President thing? Oh my god. I don't remember that. But that makes me think of uh, Skylar White doing the happy birthday thing. Because I'm the breaking bad pilled, as you could say. <laughs> Can you picture our little anime faces? I sure absolutely can. I've doodled you enough to where, like, I can picture the whole, like, little anime get up. Like, I can picture a cider cheap. I can picture, like, a Bethesda character modeled version of Cider's model. Probably the same for most of you, too. And that's not a thing that I want to think about because I don't really like <laughs> Skyrim. Because I'm, I'm picturing it all in like Skyrim slash, uh, you know, the Elder Scrolls style. But yes, I am alive indeed. A hi, howdy to you, Juni. Hope you're doing good. I sure am also doing good. <laughs> now I'm just turning into like awkward conversation. Like, hey, hey, hey guys. I feel like I... I'm going through the phases of like, oh, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. But I mean, I'm back. I can't believe I'm back. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. I can't believe I'm back. But at the same time, I knew I was going to be back. But like, like I'm back back. Like I'm here. This is literally happy birthday again, is it not? You can't, like, you can't, you can't, it's, you can't. <laughs> I can't think straight when happy birthday is fine. I'm not going to skip it either. What's my favorite iconic city skyline? Um, <laughs> New York, uh, across Central Park always comes to mind, but thinking, like, more over the top, maybe, maybe Seattle skyline, including, of course, the Space Needle. It's not my birthday. I was not born today. Uh, say that three days in four months from now, and you'll be right on point. <laughs> Seattle, the birthplace of the grunge genre. That is true, isn't it? I haven't thought too much about Seattle since uh, you know, that one Phineas and Ferb episode, Meepless in Seattle. I think that's what really settled Seattle in my mind as like a really cool place. <laughs> yeah, you did get Conductor... Jiro, you got your badge back. I remember. I think you lost the badge at some point. I don't. I don't even know how those badges work, but you got it back. You got that conductor back. And if you look at the chat above me, where things are a ton more visible, finally, like this is exactly what I was waiting for. What I was looking for, having a chat that you guys can actually see and read, and it doesn't take up too much space, but I can still use the paper. It was hard to balance and actually find something that works with it. I think I finally found my resting place. 
finally found some chat that will work with me for a long time. <laughs> but yes, you got the conductor badge back, and so do you, Zap. The Frank Frith Day is coming, uh, let's see, four months and three days away. Four months and three days away, can you believe it? <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe it's that close to my birthday again somehow. That doesn't really make sense. I, I wasn't. Did I, did my birthday not like just pass? You remember the whole like, uh, what was it, Scribble, where they had like, there was a cool dude using a bot, and he was making all sorts of stuff that I had asked for, like The Rock, and uh, home movies art too. And there was the one guy that made something that I couldn't visually see until I would rewatched the VOD, and I was like, okay, this VOD's also not going up. Uh... <laughs> Eat a birthday onion. Ah. Mmm. I, I had the onion on the sandwich the time, but a whole birthday onion. You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe that's what I'll do for my birthday. Maybe I'll have a full onion for my birthday. <laughs> Mew! Hi, howdy to ya. Absolutely hi, howdy to ya. I'm so glad to be back and I'm so glad to see you too. Hi, 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 ya, ya, ya. How, 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 how. D, 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 I did. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. <laughs> I'm just trying to live my life. <laughs> you know what, Jiro, just for you. Like, I'm going to need you to send me, like, specifically a text file with the ways that you want me to eat the raw onion and what kind of raw onion and how many raw onions as long as it's not more than two <laughs> but yeah I completely forgot what I was talking about again let's see I'm sure I can come up with something else did you guys see that today, like a little bit after I mentioned that I was going to stream? Actually, that's... Well, no. I, I could say that, actually, because I was going to play some of the Binding of Isaac earlier, so I did see my Steam library before this stream. Goat Simulator is coming out with a remastered version of the first game. That we're going to get Goat Simulator, like, remastered or something? I don't, I don't even remember what the name is. <laughs> It's not my birthday! I was not born! I mean, I was born, but it's, it's not my birthday. <laughs> Why? Why are you guys so dead set on today being my birthday? You know what? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Today must be my birthday. Today must be my birthday. What do you get? You, do you guys want a cake? <laughs> Let's see. Do I still have the birthday stuff in here? No. Wait, no. I do have the birthday stuff in here. Hold on. Pizza slice and chips. But I mean, there's like no space. It's so cluttered. I, I can't have the party items in here right now. <laughs> was about to leave the house when you saw me I was alive. Going to go turn your computer on so you can leave a lurk. Thank you for the lurk, Mew. And thanks for stopping by, of course. Always good to see you. I did listen to that playlist that you sent me. Very, very good indeed. My condolences. <laughs> You're already making a birthday greeting tweet. Ah! Start spamming me with collab ideas again. Yeah. That's right, that is something I gotta address. There's a few things that I'm gonna be changing around here this time around. And one of those is how I address collabs. Because I'm sure you guys have seen me panic, and it's, it's definitely funny, it's fun. Uh, you remember... When was that? That was, uh... The Minecraft collab with Shiren, True Orion, Spirena, Drop of Veer, and a few other friends too. 
Was that how I met Fish? That must have been how I met Fish, no? Or was that elsewhere? I can't even remember. Fun. <laughs> there was a whole lot of, like, distraction on trying to figure out who I was trying to focus on, whether it was you guys or the people I was playing with. And I realized it's just gonna, like, completely burn my brain down to the ground. If I can't adapt or find some way to work with collabs, then make the stream better for everyone. It's how you met everyone. Yeah! No, that was a super fun time right there. But I gotta... I gotta tone down on the collabs a little bit until I can figure out a way to do it good. And I almost want to say, like, I might just do collabs where I talk solely to the person I'm collabing with, and then I respond to comments and stuff after stream. But where's the interaction part for you guys? Because how can I make that a fun experience for you guys to see me playing the game with somebody? And also an interactive experience where like you feel included, right? Because what's this, what's the stream if it's not with you guys, right? But yeah, until I get that figured out, I'm going to leave collapse on the back burner for a little bit. Along with that, brutal redeems are never coming back. I say that with the sweetest tone I possibly can, but I realize I have too much on my shoulders at this point. I've got so much that I'm doing in my life that there's just no way I could hold myself to that. And so I'm going to do something where I've got, uh, you know, some sort of, uh, hmm. Some sort of a way to, like, redeem those in a different way. Maybe I'll, like, eat a pretzel for everyone that I owe a little redeemed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I could do more TTS type stuff. I've been considering that. I've definitely been considering that. I just don't want to fight with the TTS. And... Also, that's the thing, right? I would love to make those doodles. I redeem my point, but because I can't, that does not mean that I'll stop doodling. I just want to do them in my own freedom, you know what I mean? Because I'm not going to stop doodling you, Jiro. I'm not going to stop doodling you, Cider. It's just... <laughs> I gotta... You know, I gotta figure out where and how I can budget my time in ways to where it's meaningful for the both of us. And I don't have to, you know, be like, I gotta get this doodle done. That way it can be free and fun like it was before I turned it into a conquest for... What did you call it? Like, Frannel Point Exchange? <laughs> But yeah, no, everybody's still getting their doodles. Everybody, I still appreciate doodling. Everybody, I still think about. And... Yeah. Got those doodles for my dudes. Dolls. <laughs> and yes, I'll, I'll be free to accept any birthday messages after this stream, I guess. <laughs> if you guys really... I mean, no, not if you guys, because you know what? It is my birthday today. It's my birthday. I was born today. I had a call with my mother earlier, and she told me, Actually, son, your birthday has been a lie your entire life, and it's time for you to adapt to this change. Here's a posture check for you. <clears throat> Don't know why you said it like that. Here's a posture check for your partner. Coming right up for you, Mew. <laughs> but yeah, I got my heart racing. I got my beat pumping. I don't know what beat pumping means, but the beat is definitely pumping. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's, there's no proof. There's no proof I was born, except for like... The birth certificate. 
but I mean, I don't know. I don't have that on my hands. And if somebody was to take that away from me, if some thief was like, nah, I'm going to take his birth certificate, then how am I supposed to know I was born? <laughs> Chad birthed him the second time. Oh, boy. He wasn't born at all, actually. We're all hallucinating. You know? Part of, part of my lore is that I'm actually the crazy one here. That you guys actually don't exist. That I'm just, like, in post-apocalyptic world. Really clean office, real clean office. But, uh, I'm not streaming anybody. I'm just kind of sitting at my desk and I'm like, hey, blah, 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 blah. Wow, what a fun game, guys. And there's just no response. It's dead silent. <laughs> You're just all talking to a piece of paper. I guess that's the reality of the situation, though. A cute little birth certificate swap. <laughs> you know what? I think that works just fine. I would do that. Ooh. I know there's Secret Santa, but... There's another Christmas game that involves swapping gifts, and I think that's like... Oh, White Elephant is one you don't know, and you just like swap it around a certain amount of times, right? As opposed to Secret Santa being like targeting who you give it to? Yeah. White Elephant. Because I want, like, my birth certificate to be, like, a really good surprise for whoever it goes to. Why all of it was always you couldn't pay for the gifts for us. Yep. I think that sounds about right, too. Hmm... I would like to do... Exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Just like a white elephant celebration where everybody brings in something that they already own and can like easily gift away and see what people end up with. A robber who only steals important documents would be so evil. Mm hmm. I mean, that's what like spies are for, though. I don't. I mean, I'm sure spies are real, actually. There's, like, government spies and whatnot, right? But, like, I'm talking, like, James Bond super secret, super evil spies that are, like, taking over the world by stealing important documents. Like, that kind of evil is super evil. In White Elephant, all the gifts are laid out, and you take turns either choosing one or stealing one from what's already been unwrapped. And people who were stolen from get another turn later on. Mmm. That's interesting. So, you can steal one from what's already been unwrapped. Oh. Interesting. So, you really just kind of have to be on your toes and ready to steal. But you can't steal too early on. Because then you don't get that shot back after. So what's stopping you from just like waiting to be the last one to swap and or steal? Because once you see the whole selection of everything, then... Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like people will get heated. Because you want that present, but they want that present too. And they want that present too, I'm pretty sure. So what do you even do about that? You'd steal screws. <laughs> Hmm. A robbery indeed. A robbery indeed. I mean, then, if you steal screws from, like, really important things... Reminds me of the movie Meet the Robinsons, where toward the beginning, in the science fair, when, uh, Bowler Hat Guy steals... Or I guess he doesn't even steal it, he just, like, loosely unscrews two screws from Lewis's, like, mind-reading machine or whatever. And that causes just, like, the whole movie to take a big turn. You could cause some pretty significant damage just from, like, stealing screws. 
Hi, howdy to you, though, Mel Foxy. Welcome on in. And Snow! Snow! Hi! Mel Foxy, hi! Everybody! Literally, everybody! Hi, howdy! Ah! <laughs> Can you hear me shaking my head at the microphone when I do that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> So glad to be back. So glad to see each and every one of you. What if you organize a Steam Key White Elephant? Make it so the price limit is $5 and it works out as an activity to do with an online group. That could be pretty fun. That could also be really confusing. But that's only because I still don't fully understand the rules of White Elephant. And I'm sure that if you were to host it, that you would have the rules and everything all laid out and crystal clean and clear. And that sounds like a fun Christmas time activity, too. That'd be super fun. But yeah, no, as you can probably hear from the conversation topic, from the way that I'm reacting to everything that's being said, I think it's going pretty good. I think I am pretty happy to be here. I don't want to speak for you guys. Are you guys enjoying your time here? You guys enjoying the whole, you know, big old reunion? <laughs> Always one really good thing and one really terrible. If there's one thing I remember about the white elephant that I participated in sometime in like elementary school, I guess. Yep. Totally remember that. There is just completely imbalanced gifts. It would be a bit crazy to be here if we hated it. <laughs> that is true, but I'm crazy like that too. I wouldn't be crazy enough to like say like I hate that streak too, but like... I've been... Have I ever? No. I mean, there's like some times where I go down the rabbit hole of like... YouTube music production, and there's just like... Some absolute like fire in the call the fire department and get people out of the kitchen because somebody needs to be saved sort of a way not a fire is in a wow this really rocks sort of way and i listen to it because like it tickles my brain how could you make something like this and it's not even like you know bad unintentionally right like it's not somebody struggling to make music it's like they've purposefully made a mashup of sounds and like the strangest frequencies, the strangest samples in ways you just can't really wrap your mind around it. And I stay there and I listen to that and I, I guess I enjoy it. I'm not really sure if I like it or not, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, though. I'm happy to see you again, too, Snow. And, of course, enjoy your, uh... Whatever you're up to, Mew. <laughs> Enjoy whatever you're up to. I'll see you around and thank you again for stopping by. Love you too, homie. <laughs> Aaron's, yeah, no, I gotcha. Aaron's are absolutely good to tend to, and I did not tend to the errands that I had to do this weekend because I wanted to go to. A and W tomorrow. And none of those things are related, but at the time it felt so related. And you know, the only thing that I really purchased to like prepare for meals this week was a like $5 bowl of orange chicken and rice from Trader Joe's. And I'm not a Trader Joe's kind of guy, but I had that. And that was so good and that made me rethink saying that I'm not a Trader Joe's kind of guy. It was so delicious. Did I? mentioned to you guys and I mean this is totally on the topic of knobs but I had the chicken club wrap before this stream and it was so good and I got halfway through and it was paradise and it was heavenly and it was the most delicious wrap I've ever had in my entire life And then I got a phone call in the middle of my rap session. And so I sat it aside, and I mean, it's big enough and sturdy enough, and it's got enough foil around it, where I can just, like, stand it. <laughs> I can stand it up, 
It looks really goofy when I do that, but I did that, and I was on that call for like an hour. And oh boy, it was looking at me, it was just waiting to be eaten, to be devoured, but I didn't want to, you know, go between talking and eating the wrap. And talking and eating the wrap and talking and eating the wrap. I just wanted the wrap. And so I waited and I persevered. And I held myself as best as I could together. And I waited. And at the end, you think that it would have been... Like, you know, I, I, I was thinking it was going to be cold. It was not. It was still just as good as when I sank my teeth into it the first time. Heavenly. Deliciously. Scrumptiously. Heavenly wrap. <laughs> it was so good. Orange chicken does sound so good. I need to have Panda Express sometime soon. And I say that living in a state that does not have Panda Express. But <laughs> that'll change in the future, hopefully. Because that is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, fast food chains out there. Yes, though, Jiro and W indeed. I cannot wait. I'm gonna get a root beer float. I'm gonna get a root beer. I'm gonna get a burger. I'm gonna get fries. I'm gonna get whatever else they have because it's been a long time. It's been like at least 15 years since I've been to an AW. But no, that, uh, I can't wait for it already. It's like a super far ways out. So thankfully I've got a friend taking me there, but I would walk there by foot. I've been like mapping out bus charts and whatnot. I'm like, you know what? I would take a two hour public transit route. This is happy birthday again, isn't it? Great heavens. <laughs> ah. Great heavens indeed. Man. The things I do to end up having today be my birthday. <laughs> but yes, AWs are uh, still around. They're very few and far between from what I've seen. But this one's actually one of the. I don't know, more classic style builds, right? The building looks a little old and, you know, decrepit, but that's completely fine. It's got, like, the whole Sonic-style drive through esque layout. But yeah. You know what, Pow Pow? It's your birthday. It's your birthday, Pow Pow. Happy birthday. It's your birthday indeed. Welcome to your birthday. Welcome to the world, Pow Pow. Welcome to being born. Happy birthday to you and you and you and you and you and happy birthday, dear everybody. Except me because it's not my birthday. Happy birthday to you and you and you and you and even you and my friends too and even that little caribou sitting in the corner he couldn't get shorter i brought him a porterhouse steak he's awake he's gonna dig in because it tastes really great Nom 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 says the caribou as he goes through. Delicious steak that I brought for him and you. Let's hope he doesn't eat your share. That caribou da, da, da. in the corner there. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's uh... I have to manually go to the timer again. Because I have like nothing hooked up. Alright though, um, let's get back to the map timer and 
Idaho time? How can I do that? Um, I've got to use a certain hotkey because I forgot how it works and also Charles is just being completely unresponsive today. There we go. Um, what? Hotkey, hello? Oh? Uh, what is, what is the hotkey for this? Oh my god. I mean, so I have to go over to here and then here. Um, hello, uh, I'll just do number five. For no good reason, and I'll also forget that, that exists. <laughs> I'm making you hungry though? I know, I, I love talking about food because it's one of those things I can get super descriptive about. One of those things that, you know, everybody can relate to. Because I'm sure everybody has had a good meal at some point, right? Nya is finally back. The world is healing. Pow Pow, you just also missed my announcement that I'm no longer doing Doodle Redeem, so I don't think the world is quite healing, but it's it's getting somewhere. Frank Tater indeed. I'm so hungry. Frankie is now looking like a potato fries. Well, I mean, a hi howdy to you. I think I'm looking pretty delicious too, don't you want to sink your teeth into this potato? Why it sounds so strange. Um, but I mean, I am a food, am I not? I'm gonna stop that now. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, paper is definitely edible. Potatoes are edible. Favorite tater? Am I your favorite tater? Am I the one and only potato that you can't help but just want to sink your teeth into? Because <laughs> golly gee, paper is not edible? You tell that to my stomach. I've had so much paper throughout my life. I don't know if I can make that kind of comment right now. No, that's okay. I mean, you can reserve it for another time. The potato, however, will always be around. You cannot do anything to remove the potato off this face of the earth. Unless, for some reason, you just really strive to take out absolutely every potato. Being an underground sort of a... What is it even? A starchy legume or something like that. I don't think you'd be able to take them all out. Oh, commitment. I, I understand that. There are some pretty good potatoes out there. Ash brown friend being number one, of course. But I still like to keep myself around in the potato community, of course. La -da, 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 da da I'm going crazy from happy birthday. I'm going insane from happy birthday. And eventually I'm gonna learn that it's indeed probably my birthday. What do, I, what do I even do about this? It's a nightshade? Uh, I know that's a plant from Plants for Zombies, but what is a nightshade otherwise? I'm a big not my birthday up on screen, you know what? 
I will. Uh, let's see. Not my birthday, but still happy day. There we are. Oh my gosh, that expanded far too much. There we go. <laughs> Not my birthday, but still happy day. Aren't tomatoes? What? But potatoes are underground. And Belladonna is like... A musician lady, right? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I don't really know my food groups all that well, I guess. The armor team does have a lemon. I made sure to put that in uh, back when I had introduced limits to it because I knew there will be a day when I come to stream and somebody will try to out meow me. <laughs> you can think <laughs> Mushigi in the like 100 hydrates, was it? Or just like everything now has limits, but also. It took a long time. It took a long time for me to find those limits in myself, too, because I wanted to push it, right? I wanted to be like, you push me, I push back. You want me to drink 100 sips of water? I'll drink 200 sips of water. But I realized the human body is not actually designed to do something like that in this time unless you force it to, which is, of course, a very unhealthy thing to do. So, I mean, <laughs> I had to limit it somewhere and... Just kind of happened. Nimbus, thank you for the sub. Always glad to have you around and hope to see you around again even more. I, the, the words, the wordings. My brain is so empty right now. I just like dumped out all of I didn't even have a brain when I came to a stream. I was just kind of here. And I just continued being here. And now I'm a potato still. I should probably change that. If I press 5 again, will it change me back? Ah. Well, what do you know? It looks like I'm back into my formal attire. <laughs> Alright, I want to press the button on my lamp. That is the light and not the fan. If I press the fan button, it's going to blow copious amounts of dust into my nose. I can't stand that. I can't remember which button is which, but it's starting to get dark and I can't see the buttons on there. <laughs> if I press the fan button, the blue light will come on, showing me which button is the right button. But if I press the right button from the very beginning, then I won't have to worry about any little bit of that. My phone isn't charged in beside me, so I just have to make the right choice. Color change. I'll, I'll also have to put a rain check on that one because Charles is just like not functioning today for some reason. Have no idea of why, but when the time comes around, I'll make sure that you get your color. You know what? Just for you, Papa, I'll make sure that you get the pink color when I change my color that time that I'm, you know, redeeming it for you since it's not going to go through this time really stuck in ads they just keep restarting the batch ah i hate ads i hate advertisements but i also kind of like them when they're cool it reminds me of advertisements what advertisement i think of right now i did not Tell you guys a certain something. Now. And let me press the right button on this fan. I mean, on this lamp. Yo, I had the oh my god. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I think I pressed the right thing. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll, I'll hold that thought for a sec. But yes, thank you for gifting those subs to them. 
Now they will be able to evade those pesky, pesky ads, Mampus. You, Mampus, are a hero, a savior indeed. And I also thank you for the subs. <laughs> How do you find the motivation to put away laundry? Personally? Sometimes I don't. But when I don't have the energy to put away my laundry, I know that I'm going to want to look a little better than the laundry allows when it's all wrinkly and it's all in the laundry bag, right? So sometimes if I don't find myself with enough energy to put it away, to hang it up, to put it in the closet, to put it away, I'll take it out of the bag and I'll dump it all across my bed. I'll dump everything across my bed. This is what I do when I like clean spaces too, right? Like I'll put everything that needs to be stored away in its own specific place in a key point of the room. Because no matter what, you can't go through the rest of your day without thinking of that one key thing, right? You can't go to bed unless you like put all of your clothes somewhere else, which then is kind of morally conflicting to me, right? Like I got to earn to go to bed now, right? Like I've got all these clothes here, so I got to, I got to put them away and then I'll feel like even a little more proud of myself for getting something done in that day. Clothes are for nerds. I, I, I mean, I hope you guys are all nerds then in that case. I get recurring nightmares where I just realize in midday that I'm naked and in public. I gotta make sure clothes are available so it doesn't happen. I have never had a single nightmare and I dare say a single dream where I've been naked. I always have clothes on. I sleep with socks on every single night and when I don't have socks on. And I this only happened once in the past few months because I am very conscious about it. I I had a nightmare. <laughs> and I put my socks on and I slept just fine. I don't know what it is about me. But I just can't sleep. I, I thought that it was just like a warmth thing, but apparently my body is just so what how is that crazy? Okay. So, watch this, right? Let's say you hang your feet out from beneath the covers while you sleep. Right? Does that not feel strange to you? To have your just like grippers exposed? Like, of course, you're the only person in there. But... I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't let those grippers free. When I go to the beach, I wear shoes and socks. When I, I guess when I shower is the only time that I really don't have on socks, but yeah, no, you, you gotta, mm, I don't trust you guys. Mio, you've got, I mean, you've got the right idea, Mio, but the rest of you guys, I gotta keep a close eye on you because the more bare feet people I have here, the less safe I feel. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But yeah, that is definitely strange to think about. I wonder when that started for me, because I remember I used to be like the king of bare feet. I used to be like that wild child that would wear only underwear in the house. I would just like run around, be crazy and wild. Except apparently my memory fails me because I was actually a calm and collected child that loved to read books and color and coloring is not true, actually. I like to draw, but I've always hated coloring. <laughs> okay, I don't wear socks in the ocean. I'll wear water shoes in the ocean. I'll wear water shoes in the ocean, but I'll have my feet bare in the pool. And yes, Tatones! Hi, howdy to ya! Thank you for the absolutely yang welcome. Water shoes, yeah, you know those cool things. They let water in and they keep you, you know, feeling clean and cool and whatnot. It's pretty good. Water shoes, yeah. No, I'm a water shoe connoisseur. Once I washed my water shoes and I accidentally left them in the refrigerator. And I couldn't find them for the longest time. <laughs> And then I checked the refrigerator and they were there. But 
Yeah, I can understand it being too hot to have extra layers, even if it's just like socks. Sometimes that is just genuinely the case, and I mean, I've lived in a wide variety of places. Some places just don't allow for like wearing any sleeves in general. In some places you need to wear socks upon your socks upon your socks. You can't support me after that discovery? Well, I'm sorry, but... Grippers before sniffers, as they say. Not like put your grippers before sniffers, but like... Prioritize your grippers rather than your sniffer. Don't let, don't let sniffers sniff your grippers. Don't ever let that happen. I mean, how do you have water shoes? Because you gotta keep your dog safe in the water. Yeah. Gotta keep them protected. Gotta make sure that you don't get scratched or anything. Especially by, like, pebbles carried by the water's absolutely rash currents, right? But the bed socks. You gotta... I mean, I guess if you're not a bed sock wearer, then getting used to bed socks is gonna be a real pain. But the more you do it and the more you get used to it, the better it'll start to feel. I think. Unless it just always feels murky and you've felt free your entire life. I aspire to feel that freedom someday. <laughs> you stepped on. There used to be a boardwalk that me and my other mother. Why do you just like choke on all of my words at the same time? Catch you around though, Mel Foxy. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for welcoming me back. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Always good to see you. But no, we were... There was a boardwalk that we always go to because my mother absolutely loved the beach. And so, you know, I would... I think I did go there barefoot a few times, but then I started to wear sandals, flip-flops, and whatnot. Especially because, like, the boardwalk was very, very rough wood. And she'd always tell me, like, watch out, there's crabs beneath the logs, or like beneath the wood and whatnot. And so occasionally she'd just like pinch me. <laughs> I would jump thinking it was a crab. Going to have noms. Enjoy those noms, snow. I'll totally catch you around again and soon at that snow. Definitely soon. You're the best. And I hope to be a tater to you again sometime. You best watch yourself and have an amazing night, Snow. <laughs> I'd get kicked out of, like, Cracker Barrel with a voice like that. I love Cracker Barrel. Mother training you for the crap uprising? I guess so. You always gotta be prepared in case those breakfast to go on and start erupting. Gotta walk the cat out. Yeah, thank you for the lurk, Memphis. You have that cat out. Huh? Hold on a sec. You're walking your cat? Does that happen? Do people have, like, cat leashes and stuff like that? I guess that's good, right? Because you get them out, you get them free, but you still have them strained enough to be able to keep them under your watch. People do it all the time. I've always heard of dog walks, but when I hear cat walk, that's more like model actress stuff, not like literally walking your cat. That's interesting. Leash training your kitten? Huh. Well, I hope, you know, they find themselves fun to the leash. More like I walk with him beside me. We usually go for walks at night. Ooh, that sounds cool. Like, I mean, of course it's, I don't know, is it? It's probably not dangerous if you like really trust your animal. And it's not like in a strange situation where you probably shouldn't have them without a leash. But like, if you can and you do, Having them, like, just walk beside you is like your confidant. That's so cool. That's like... Animal-human connection 
just like cool, cool stuff right there, like man's best friend stuff. Cat bodyguard, absolutely. Gotta give them kitty their steps in. I don't know why I've read that so strangely. Gotta give them kitty their steps in. Yeah. Gotta walk your animals, gotta talk to your animals. But not in the same way that you talk to plants. Actually, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> you can't give your animal carbon dioxide and watch them grow. You can watch them give off carbon dioxide and give them oxygen and watch them grow. Ah, man. I just kind of sit here and I look at myself and I think, boy, if only Charles was here right now. If I could own any animal like pricing and housing is no option, what would it be? Hmm. So, I really like chinchillas, but chinchillas, surprisingly, are not my favorite animal. They're my cousin's favorite animal. And I think without her enjoying chinchillas, I would have never been put onto the whole chinchilla hype. My favorite animal is the capybara. The lovely, wonderful biggie pig. And if I could, I would have two of them because they're social creatures, maybe even three. I have a big pool for them where they can, you know, feel free to spread their little capybara webbed feet and just let them enjoy their lives. Just let them explore and live and have space to breathe and also hang out with me because they're really just absolutely chill animals. Big rodents, yep. Biggie pigs or guinea pigs, as I like to call them. Why stop at three, four sounds so much? I would have a full capybara farm if I could. Would you call that a farm? What do you call, like, I guess, like, maybe a capybara retreat or something like that? A capybara cove. Like an area full of capybara where they can all socialize and meet and greet and feel safe and cool. But not take them too much out of the wilderness, right? Just enough for them to live like a comfortable life. So I guess I'd have to like simulate danger. But simulated danger is never really all that efficient. Unless you pull it off right. I know uh, True Orions knows a lot about gecko keeping. I guess just general reptile and animal keeping. And somehow I feel like I remember in one of our conversations we had talked about a tank that like has something to simulate thunderstorms and other, you know, like environmental threats to keep animals on their toes and aware of their instincts and whatnot. I think that's pretty cool. But I don't know how you would do that with a capybara. You have to like simulate a full alligator. I think you can own them in some... I'm pretty sure you can. I just can't exactly remember which states. Let me look it up. Uh... Capybara... States. Texas, Washington, North Carolina, Arizona, Arkansas, Indiana, Florida, and Tennessee. Mm, out of all of these states, I'd be most likely to want to move to Texas, Arizona, Washington, North Carolina, Arkansas, Indiana, Florida, and or Tennessee, which is just all of the states that it's legal because I would love to have a capybara. <laughs> Hire Nessie? Ooh. Well, hmm. How much would I have to pay Nessie to simulate terror, but also to not actually like consume capybara? You can own like anything in Texas. That's true. It's a very not like lawless state, 
but definitely like free for animal free for free for a whole lot of animal you can own a capy you should own a capybara cider you should own two capybaras and a big pool or maybe just like a walmart pool and get like small capybaras i don't know you can like shrink them down you just gotta ask like group for a shrink rate or something but you know you make it work <laughs> But yes, you get that Borgar in exchange for absolutely keeping those capybaras safe. Don't think your landlord would love that. Trust me, the second your landlord sees those lovely little capybara eyes, just like laid back looking absolutely not a thought in their head, your landlord would love to see capybara. Maybe, well no, because you don't want tenants to be replaced by capybara, but... You know, maybe expand the plot a little. Get some capybara over there. Maybe expand it like downward or upward even. Just have like capybara units and they don't have to pay rent. I would never make a capybara pay rent. And that is my promise to you as a businessman. Okay, then the, I mean that fixes it, right? You have the rooftop pool. You have like a little slope that they climb up around the entire building. And then at the bottom is where, you know, the capybaras are free to relax and chill and greet all the people that live there. Tenants replaced by capybara is a wonderful idea. I think so too. But also, Cider is a tenant, and I wouldn't want her to be, like, lonely in the apartment. Mm. Posture check. Posture has been checked. Mm. Feels good. Good, 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 good. To be back. Oh my gosh. All I do is give my nose the slightest tap. And my whole body jumps. <laughs> so true. Foxes need cappy company. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, I need to like rebuild. <laughs> Cider, they don't work. None of the redeems work. But I do at least have it jotted down. I need to have a so retro running. I need to have uh, myself turning pink for Pow Pow. And I also need to go ghost. I can't really do like a ghost. <laughs> Whoa, I'm haunting you. I'm <laughs> I bet you're like behind the screen. Going my my Mario, my my Mario, and I'm just gonna right towards you. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? I'm haunting you. <laughs> just want to show off your Frank wall. That's fair. I know, like a lot of redeems that I had in the past are sort of being shifted around and adjusted to make more sense for the state that we're in right now, but. I want to make sure that we have some, like, good redeems and stuff going on. Da, da, da. <clears throat> Alright, um, I was gonna say that I was gonna start to wrap things up for the night. So, I guess I can wrap it up with my meow voice if that works fine for you guys. There was one idea that I had that I definitely want to try out... I want to stay sometime either this weekend or next week where I, you know, I want to buy a pack of Bean Boozled and have a command running in Charles that tells me whether or not to eat a jelly bean. And so every hmm, 30 seconds would mean approximately 120 jelly beans per hour. Maybe that's for the best. And he has like a 75% chance to... to make me a jelly bean. <laughs> yeah. So essentially it's like a bean boozled spin run. 
Speen run? What? <laughs> Speen run. <clears throat> but yeah. No, that would be really, really goofy. And I'll have to get like a really big bean boozled box for that. But I think it'd be worth it. I think it'd totally be worth it. For Rankin Beans. That's right. I don't... Do I enjoy Franken beans? We have this conversation like all the time. I remember having a can of Franken beans, but I don't think I was really a big fan. Hot dogs and beans do go pretty good together, especially like chili dog, right? But... Beanie weenies, that's what they're called. Yeah. No. Can't. Can't ever, can't ever do that again. And I don't even remember where I got the can from. I think somebody gave me the can. And I was never the same after. <laughs> Beanie weenies but with jelly beans? That could be interesting. You know how like I was talking about worms and dirt earlier? And how like flavors swap and they mix and match and whatnot? What if, you know, worms and dirt is not real dirt? What if, like, uh, Frank and jelly beans, the Franks were replaced by, I don't know, gummy worms also. So you have gummy worms and jelly beans, but I mean, that's just eating two different candies to have to mesh together in some way or another. That could be good though. I could just like cut a hot dog in half and stuff it with jelly beans, but that requires some culinary expertise that I don't currently have. I have a friend that only eats vanilla worms and dirt and won't accept that that is no longer worms and dirt because it's white. That's like... Worms in... What's like... Like tree rot? <laughs> Worms in tree rot? <laughs> but no, that's definitely not worms in dirt. Maybe that's... Worms in mud? If you mix the vanilla pudding with the Oreo crumbs, good enough. But... Yeah, I don't know. That's like worms in cement. Worms in rubber cement. Golly gee, guys, I really do love me some worms in rubber cement. Worms in dirt? Yeah! Absolutely delicious dessert. I've loved it ever since I was young. You take some gummy worms, you take some crushed up Oreos, and you take some pudding, and you mix it all together, and you got one delicious treat. Europeans are uncultured? <laughs> is, is it not a dessert in Europe? Do Europeans not know about worms and dirt? Man, I stalled so hard to hit that right on the dot. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good. You gotta try it sometime. Oh my god, it's happy birthday. I gotta get out of here. I can't. I can't stay here anymore. I can't stay here anymore. You gotta understand. Happy birthday is the bane. Actually, it's not the bane of my existence. It's the very reason why I'm here, because of my very happy birthday. I was a wee little lad. I just popped out. And there I was. It was absolutely insane. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to keep myself down on, like, extra extreme filler that would just have no reason to be there at all. And I mean, that's kind of who I am. I, I love filler. I love just saying random stuff repeating stuff all the time but why don't i repeat that next stream especially for people that haven't seen it before right for people that don't know 
don't know about what happened here. And I also want to do like recaps the stream after. So we'll see how that goes. But this right here, this tonight, was a little short. I was a little short compared to my usual. I think I bumped myself up to like the three hours the time before. But I also have not talked for longer than like five minutes with somebody. The last few months, with the exception of like some Discord calls and whatnot. So my mouth is absolutely parched and my brain is absolutely starved of oxygen. So I'm going to go and get some water and get some oxygen. And I will, uh, well, I mean, I can get oxygen right here. Just like, <clears throat> but Encore, never mind. We are getting oxygen right here. <laughs> Hi, howdy to your Ryans, and a welcome on in. How are you guys doing, Raiders? How are you doing, True Ryans? It's super duper good to see you. And, you know, I'm. I, I mean, I've said it like 20 times. I've probably said it more than 20 times, but I'm so glad to be back. Hope to the ads indeed, but I hope they don't devour you. I hope you find something that you could use and enjoy and... Uh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Whatever happens with those ads, I love those Frank's Red Hot ads. Even though I don't. It's a, it's a strange relationship that I have with them. Because I just kind of like... I think it was the first time. I don't remember whose ad it was. But I was listening to it in the background and I just heard them call out Frank. And I was like, mm -hmm. why are these people in this commercial saying my name from afar? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. But yeah, hey, readers, the name's good old Frank F. You're a very favorite businessman. Right here on the Witch.TV, just kind of catching up with you guys. It's been a while since I've, uh, you know, said anything, been anything, done anything, been anywhere. And I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be back. It is going pretty good. And... Yeah. <laughs> it's been a wonderful stream. So, so glad to have the people here chatting, here watching, here listening, here that stopped by here that are yet to come, and here that will maybe watch during the VOD. You never really know. You never really know. But yeah, it's going pretty good. It's going pretty good, true rhymes. I just mentioned to you earlier about uh talking about animal enclosures and like simulated simulated dangers, I guess, like like simulated thunderstorms, for example, I guess is what I'd used, right? Ways to get animals to tap into their instincts in enclosures to better keep themselves in tune with their instincts or something like that but yeah i was talking about it because i want to have like a full-on capybara ranch if i had the opportunity and if this was a fictional situation i have to slap that on there because if somebody like gifts me <laughs> i don't know what anybody would do that but if somebody like gifts me a capybara farm like i don't know if some dude some country far away it's just like oh hi frank i watch your streams and i heard you talk about capybara farms i was wondering if you were interesting in inheriting mine actually no you know what that'd be cool i would change my whole life just to work on that capybara farm and keep them all situated and happy and healthy that'd be pretty cool <laughs> If I was a gazillionaire, I'd give you one as a special treat. That would be sweet. That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> I would absolutely enjoy that. But yeah, no, totally do that for you, Gecko. I can't wait to hear what the... I guess not what the results are. But I hope they do enjoy it. Never say never. It might happen eventually. I'd be a little too scared. <laughs> a little too frightened to accept that. If there's some other monetary gain that's going on alongside, I mean, I guess like 
that sounds really businessman of me to say I could, like, profit off of the capybara. What are we going to do? Are we going to do, like, marketing? We could do, like, capybara commercials. <laughs> Very into the capybara industry. We'll see what I can do. I would love to be in the capybara industry, though. It'd be insane. I was, I was gonna keep on going. I was gonna try to keep on going. Especially since you sent that read in, but I was just getting ready to head off, and I think it might be best for everyone if I head off now. Because my brain is so empty. And I'm just gonna play it off of like what's coming through my head right now. But yeah, essentially I mean we got some big plans coming up for us. We got some fun times, big plans. I am so, so incredibly happy to be back. Ah, I forgot to mention. Last thing, because I keep on saying last thing, and then something else happens, and then last thing, and then something else happens. <laughs> no more iguana breakfast needed. Not tonight, at least, because I know that Zep and Pow Pow would definitely disagree. But... <laughs> I will actually be putting this vault up as the first part of the Frank Vault available on the YouTube channel. And this will be uploaded as just a regular vault. And moving forward, I hope to upload all my vaults to YouTube. <laughs> I really like the hold back from that because I'm like, you know what? I, I wish the stream was perfect, but right here, I stumbled on my words, and I want to redo the entire thing, but you know what? No. <laughs> I don't think anybody that's here is expecting perfection from me, including myself at this point. And you know what? What is perfection if you're not having a fun time? The same doesn't go the other way around, right? What is a fun time if you aren't having perfection? A fun time without perfection is still an absolutely amazing thing. So you know what? This thing right here is going up on youtube.com slash at Frank Blood Red. <laughs> yeah. So anybody that missed this VOD can catch it. I might even clip it up into smaller pieces and put it up as like a long edit or something like that. We'll see how that goes. I'll work on that uh, the next few days. Maybe I'll even get it done tomorrow because I don't have anything to do tomorrow other than go to A&W. But yeah. I'm perfect at being Frank, though. Thank you a ton, Cider. I'm so glad to be Frank with you all. <laughs> but yeah, that's all from me for tonight. I'll catch you guys around. I hope you enjoy that day of yours, that night of yours, that evening, that morning, that uh, whatever time of day it is for you. And I'll catch you guys all around. I don't think I'll be able to stream again this week. Maybe I will. Don't hold me to that. Uh, this weekend is also a pretty busy weekend. And next week is also going to be pretty busy. But next week I'll definitely slot something in once I get all of my schedules together. We'll see how that goes, though. I'll catch you guys around, and once again, this is Frank F., your very favorite businessman, signing off for the day. Have a good one, guys. The wait. Oh my god. I keep on forgetting stuff. I still gotta send a rain out, don't I? Also, yes, goodbye, Nick. Let's see, let me open up the raid browser, because I... Notice that this is a new feature. Thank you again. Uh, good old little pigby for pointing it out to me. I'll read you guys out. Ooh. I have not rated out to Ari in a little bit, and she had invited me to her very own uh, debut, which was 
like right was that in the middle of my itis actually when i did that also to anybody that didn't know because i was kind of quiet about it there that was a fun time but yeah i'm gonna send you guys out to Aurea corvée the uh corvée vtuber the corvée paver <laughs> fish i was just about to send a raid out but let me catch you guys real quick let me tell you guys you fish and chippers my name is Ferinka, and i'm glad to see you guys I'm not going to keep it going any longer because I don't want to, you know, give you guys any filler. Just kind of keep on rambling on and on and on like I usually do. But I was about to raid, yeah. <laughs> so we'll send you guys out. And... Yeah, no, it's like, it's a double time. Lisa! Hi! Hi, howdy to ya! Always glad to see you, always glad to catch you, always glad to... Always glad to be here. You guys make it super worthwhile be a stream thank you guys so much <laughs> yeah i'll catch you guys around i'm gonna send you out now. raid message oh my god i gotta i gotta copy this from charles i have to like go into it i have to go into my chinchilla system and smack it down all right there we go raid is starting uh, and let me slap that right there. There's your raid message. And yeah, I've held you guys for long enough. We don't have to wait for the full timer to go down. Unless, of course, we were to do something like that, which would be really funny and silly. I'm just kind of talking a little too long and a little too fast for it to be really meaningful to keep you guys for, you know, the whole timer. I could fill this whole time with filler. As I said, I am just kind of the filler guy, but I think we can skip the filler, right? We can skip the filler. <laughs> you have a good time too, guys, though. This is Frank F once again, and finally, <laughs> signing off for the night. Glad to be back, guys. Goodbye, Nickler. And also, hi, howdy, but also goodbye, elevator pitch. Um, <clears throat> Have you ever thought about going up, not going down? This elevator, in fact, is a pitch that will only send you up so much higher. Higher than before, higher than you ever thought you could go. Three floors? You got it. 110 floors? You got it. 111 is too many, and it can't send you down. So once you get up to 111, that is it. That is over. You are done. You just cannot go any higher. You cannot go any lower. You are stuck on the 111th floor. You are on the roof, and there's nothing you can do about it. But this is where my product comes in to save you. The elevator down. Catch you guys around.